my friends, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining MTD today. And thank you for joining Ability Metal today. Now, I got my buddy Tony with me. We're going to go over a little bit of the company history, the company story, where they can benefit a partnership, the growth. And then we're going to end off with the fact that everyone's looking for workers right now, right? That, that, that right. labor shortage. So we'll get into that as well. But let me get you started by introducing you to a great company that's going near to 100 years of being in business. So, Tony, please offer us a little bit of history about Ability Metal and what you make here? Our primary products are for the aerospace and medical industries. Uh, we've seen tremendous growth over the last half dozen years. We've added over 15 new pieces of equipment, primarily Mori seeking machines. Uh, our focus is on automation, but it's the right amount of automation. Uh, not everything needs a robot. Uh, pallet changers, uh, bar feeders, parts catchers, accumulation tables, uh, gantry loaders. Those are the items that we're focusing on. I like that answer and you're right. When we focus on specific areas and the ability to automate, that does create success. And something I left out in the intro, which is important I think for the audience as well, is you've really focused on bringing a winning concept to your team here, as well as a winning concept for all of your partners out there as well who want to work with you. That's correct. Uh, I think it's important that everybody knows that that opportunity exists. Uh, as an employer, it's important to me, uh, over the last, I'm going to say 12 to 16 months, I've had three of my guys become first-time homeowners. That's pretty cool. To see a guy make his first horizontal mill setup and see you know, that the happiness that he gets from knowing that, man, I was really intimidated, but you know what, I was able to do it. Uh, to get my guys to win, uh, to partner with customers, and knowing that, you know, yeah, everybody, got, everybody has to make a profit. But, you know, the more business our customers get, the more business we get in the end. I like that you said that. And a great segue, I think, for the audience watching right now is when we think of medical, when we think of aerospace, aerospace is now really doing well. Um, medical is really doing well. But you oftentimes, more so maybe in medical than aerospace, but you need to invest in the right machines in order to create components that sometimes come with tight tolerances. The fact that you're able to automate most of what you're doing, you said the right places, but you've also invested in premium machines that can give you the accuracies, the precisions, and the overall advancements in production that allow you to kind of climb a level when it comes to the potential people who want to work with you and look up who Ability Metal is. You know, that's correct. I think that people confuse cost with price. All right? So we can buy a, an inexpensive machine tool, an inexpensive car, or an inexpensive dinner. The, so the price may be less, but the cost is higher. My most inexpensive employees are the guys that get paid the highest wage. And I really like how you yeah. said that. One of my favorite quotes, and for people who have watched MTD and watched my videos particularly, I had a really good friend tell me one time, I'm too poor to buy cheap. You know, yeah. I must invest in the long term. And that is what you just said. I'm going to use that in the future as well. What a great statement. Yeah. One of the best parts of my job is getting to give people pay increases and to move them along the chain, right? Uh, if we look back to the 1950s, a guy may have been standing in front of the same Bridgeport mill for 30 years, and that was his machine. Uh, my guys are cross-trained on every discipline that we do here in, at Ability Metal. We train all of our guys, not all of them want to learn, we attempt to train all of our guys to be extremely flexible in their job skills. I tell my guys, you get mad at me and you want to leave, you're not going to have a problem finding a job because you're well-trained across every aspect of machining. You know, that's another quote I like. Actually, I'm sure the audience is probably already thinking it as well, the one where we say, you know, what happens if we invest in our employees and they leave? Well, what happens if we don't invest in our employees? I think that's yeah. actually worse, right? Yeah. And the fact that you do want to cross train, and for anyone who's willing, I think that's an important con concept to bring up because we do have three or four generations working together right now in our industry. And some people are more fixed on, I've been doing this for a while, I'm really good at this, and I'm comfortable. And some people are like, I want to learn everything that I can. And you allow for whatever avenue that person might be to work and thrive within Ability Metal. So let's take a quick moment and kind of jump into the industry as a whole. I know it's a topic you want to talk about. I know it's something you're familiar with. Just the overall manufacturing industry. 
Yeah, you know, aerospace and medical industries are both very demanding. Materials used, especially in the heat-resistant materials, the high nickel alloys, it's, it's a difficult material to machine, much less to hold tight tolerances. It's one of the reasons that we've invested so heavily in the Morisiki machine line, because they are capable of holding those tolerances. The other issue is when you change from one operation to another. So how do you pick up your, your zeros or your datums or whatever you want to pick up? All of our mills have in-process probing. So we're able to load machines, probe the parts, and reset the, the register to the new zero. Some of the guys don't like it because they think it's stealing their skill set. What it really does is it, it, it gives them the ability to do so much more work. The accuracy is so much higher. Uh, we're getting finished parts. We're loading raw blanks and moving out finished parts. Uh, I, get, I mean, it gets back, right? Not everything's about money, but we're in business. Our guys need to make money. We need to make a little money. And to keep our customers in business, they need to make a little bit of money. And automation, it's, you know, either get on board or get run over. At this point, I think there's a great statement as well. And talking with you off camera, so bringing it live here right now, you have automation cells that have upped your production 30, 40, 50 percent. You've invested in technology like Mitoco that allows some of your milling centers, instead of having a, a, a lag time of setup, now is just running all day. You have uh, capabilities to come in on a Sunday for an hour or two and then run for an additional 8, 10, 12 yeah. hours. This is what automation does, is it allows us to do more with what we currently have or even do more with less if necessary. That's correct. Our guys are really adapting to the automation. The ability to have guys come in on off-peak hours. So we run two 10-hour shifts. So one of the things we try to do is jump the shift. Right, so when our night guys leave and our day guys come in, the machines are generally running. Mm -hmm. The automated machines, so our, our horizontal mills, our NLX twin spindle turning centers, and our vertical machines, which was by far our least performing machines, by adding these mitochal pallet changers, it's changed it. It's, it's been a huge change. You know, Tony, uh, we're going to close out this with, you know, now that you've inspired people to learn more about you with the website and, and the fact that you're constantly hiring and looking for good yeah. talent. Uh, but before we get there, you're so right about the, the concept, idea, or even misconception of automation as a whole when it says, you know, some people will say, it's going to take my job. It's going to, I believe fully that it amplifies. And your conversation today is showing how automation amplifies not just the production of a company, but what someone can do. They can run three or four machines. They, in turn, can make more money because the company, in turn, is making more money. No jobs are being lost. This is the way to not get run over, That's as you correct. say, Tony. So to close this thing out, let's talk about website where we can find you. You've already discussed the machining capability for anyone who works with you, they will be cost trained, they will learn some really great technology. You've invested in some of the best technology. So the fact that you are hiring, maybe mention that. And that's how we'll close this conversation out, my friend. All right, well, stabilitymetal.com. Uh, we are rebranding our website. We're excited about the future, man. I mean, aeros aerospace, I mean, we haven't got the flying cars on our driveways yet. yet. But they're coming. Uh, whether it's uh, autonomous, it's going to be autonomous everything. And uh, we want to be a part of it. We want to be a part of uh, the autonomous grocery shopping, right? It, everything's going to be an app. We're going to be able to, but somebody's got to make those parts. And that's, we want to be that guy. I like that. That's a really great way to uh, conclude. This is Tony, Ability Metal. Give these guys a look. Great company, nearly 100 years at this point. So you know you're going to have a long-term partner for those of you out there looking to outsource more of your medical and more of your uh, aerospace to a reliable partner who is now invested in you as well as themselves. Thank you all for watching, Tony. Thank you so thank you, much Tony. for your time Appreciate today. Your time. TNT is what just happened. That's dynamite, right?